Boxing Academy in San Jose, California. Getting ready to take on Matt Brown at UFC on Fox 5, December 8th in Seattle, Washington. Mike, you had a victorious uh, return to the octagon. A little rough first round, came back with a big knockout win. You feeling better in this camp, getting ready for the second fight? Absolutely. Uh, this is the best I've ever felt, for sure. Uh, I had surgery immediately following that fight. Um, eight weeks out from surgery, body's 100%, knees good, elbows good. I'm um, doing things that I haven't been able to do in years, so um, I'm already in shape eight weeks out, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be a great fight. I'm excited. You had a long road to get back to the octagon. Uh, it's been well documented, but to come back from your first fight back and have to go have surgery, kind of take us through what happened, what you had to have fixed, and where you are health wise now. Getting ready for this fight. It wasn't a new injury. It was a continuation of the ACL. I had ACL surgery a year before the fight, and uh, it never healed. It overhealed, I guess, with a lot of scar tissue and stuff. So I never had full extension. So that's why I couldn't throw kicks or, or extend the knee. Um, so it was, it was a hindrance in camp, but I got to do everything that I needed to. I got to spar and grapple and get in shape. So uh, I, I got through the fight. And then it was nice to go back and, and just get it cleaned out. Uh, Dr. Stidman, one of the best doctors I've ever dealt with, uh, went in there and spent like eight hours just cleaning it completely out. Did my elbow as well, same time. And, and now I feel like I got a new body. So this camp, I'm going all out. It's been an amazing road for you. Uh, what was it like when they raised your hand, you got that big knockout victory? It looked like, you know, you had the world lifted off of your shoulders. For sure. You know, I mean, for two and a half years, I, I dreamed to fantasize about that moment. You know, I wanted to, to go back out on the big stage and, and fight in front of a sold-out crowd and get a knockout win. I mean, all those things were things I fantasized about, and I, and I was dreaming, and, and almost seeing it was so real, you know, and to actually walk out there in, in that crowd and, and the feeling they gave me and, and, and to get that kind of win like I, like I dreamed and, and have my hands raised, it's as much of a dream come true as I guess you can, you can have, man. And, and I want to keep repeating that process. So if it means training harder than ever, longer than ever, more than ever, that's, that's why I'm here eight weeks out doing what I'm doing. You're a veteran of this sport, and uh, you're going to be taking on another one. Matt Brown, a guy who has defied, uh, I think, a, a lot of conventional wisdom. A lot of people thought this guy probably wouldn't be sticking around the UFC for a long time. He's a grinder, you know, blue-collar guy, lunch pail. He's bringing it when you guys get in that octagon. You know you've got a tough opponent. What do you see when you look at his tape? What do you have to worry about? And what are you going to have to do to keep this run going for yourself? Yeah, I like this fight. You know, he's, he's got a win streak going. Uh, he's very tough. He's got a lot of respect. He's a good fighter. Um, I, I think this is a good step for me to, to take and... Uh, you know, I, I see the fight hopefully going quick. Uh, I think we're going to both go out there and clash. Um, I don't throw to, to win points or, or to try to, to win on the scorecards. I mean, I throw to try to finish my opponent. Um, and I think he does the same. So it, it could be a quick fight, you know, and, and I think it has a, a high potential. Uh, if not, it's going to be a war. And uh, I think someone's going to be carried out in a stretcher. And, and that'll probably be the winner. That's, <laughs> that's how that fight's probably going to go if, if, it, if it doesn't go quick. A lot of chance for some extra cash uh, in a fight like this as well. You, you know, I know you're probably... I'm not going to rob the guy. I just want to fight him. Well, I'm talking about some bonus money here. Uh, this is a guy who's gone out and had some very, very entertaining fights. You've done so as well. Um, does that weigh on you? bonuses on my last two wins. So I'm on a, I'm on a two... My last two wins were both knockout bonuses. So I'm going to try to keep that up. I like those bonuses. Looking for that supplementary income? I want, that, I want them bonuses, man. Those are nice. <laughs> Matt Brown... Uh, very accomplished bonus getter himself as well. Do you ever think about that when you're getting ready to go fight? Like, hey, this is something special here. I got a chance to go out and make a little extra money. Yeah, you know, it, I feel like if you do your job and you fight hard, you're going to get paid, you know? So it's, it's not a huge concern, but it, it's a nice staple because, you know, when I first got in the UFC, they didn't have that, you know, that, that, that credential, you know, that knockout of the night, submission of the night. It's, it's kind of nice to say that, you know, and they add those up and it goes on your stats. So it, it's definitely nice getting those. Uh, Matt Brown's a tough fighter, you know, and usually I don't go out to get fight of the night. You know, I, I want to get a knockout of the night or submission. I'm not looking to have a close, long fight that's a war and all that. I want to I get it over with. Uh, looking at Matt Brown, I know that potential's there. You know, I know he's a tough guy. And, and I'm kind of like, like, sickly in my mind, kind of wanting a, a, a war and just a nasty, gruesome, violent fight. So if it turns out to be a two or three round fight, it's going to be a good one. And I have no problems taking the lumps to give it out there and, and, and give them back. So. Talking with you over the years, I know winning a, a championship was always something at the forefront of your mind. After having this time off and seeing what it's taken to get back and knowing you're you know, a good 
you know, you're a few fights away at least before you can even toss your hat back in that conversation. Is it still something that motivates you and drives you, uh, or have you moved on from that? No, obviously, uh, definitely. You know, and I got a lot of uh, a lot of proving. You know, I mean, my my goal of the last fight was to prove that that I can get back in the UFC and win. You know, after all that I've been through, and I did that. Um, obviously, it was. Uh, Still going through some stuff, and and you know I, I didn't have the fight I wanted. You know I, I felt like I could have improved, and or I'm sorry I could have done better. Um, and so that's what this fight's about: to have a better performance, uh, to show where I belong in the division, and, and and show the skills that I work so hard on. You know, so that's all it's about: is, is getting in shape and and putting on the fight I can be proud of at the end of this.